Well, hello and good morning to our weekend to Scotland. So we're at King's Cross right now waiting to get on the train. And I love the architecture in here, it's very cool. <laughs> arrived almost five hours later um, but we just checked into our hostel which is the first one I'm ever staying in and I'm staying with two four six seven other girls so this will be interesting and um, we're about to start our little walking tour of Edinburgh and head to the castle and to one of the graveyards and I don't know what else. So let's go see Scotland. Right there, that car park. <laughs> um, used to be a cemetery. And, and John Knox was buried right there. If you don't know who he was, he changed Scotland from Catholic to Protestant. And um, we just ran into a, a group of interesting people who just kind of either drunk or, or something, but. They made the tour interesting. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. There's the castle. It's not very big, but it's very old. Um, the tour guide said that it's still like a military basis, but you can obviously go in and explore. And the oldest part is actually like inside. You can't see it from outside. And oh, my thumb keeps getting in the way. And the gate is actually new. Um, well, not new, but like 500 years old. Well, the rest of it is much older. So. Not going in it. The gates are closed and won't have time tomorrow, but the views are amazing here. So that way is the Highlands and the new city of Scotland. And then this way, I actually forgot what he said, but there's a lot of mountains and still covered in snow from this past week. But the views are really nice and the town's really cool. It's very old and um, kind of medieval style. So, I'm liking Scotland so far. Yeah, she's taking a selfie right now. <laughs> so we're at the top of Colton Hill. Actually, it's kind of a big area, so it's like one of the views. But I think that way is the Highlands. And looking down is the new Edinburgh. I don't know how new, but that was what the tour guide said. It's like overcrowding in the old Edinburgh, so they built this right next to it but it's really cool there's like little monuments over here and this hill was formed of all by a volcano what was it like 340 million years ago which is kind of cool <laughs> we just climbed up this little monument so there's like a little rock down there but you can see it. it's kind of high up needed a little push in the back and a little boost up um, but it's really cool <laughs> Cause you get this nice sunset view um, and it's an old national monument I think it's what it's called it's kind of like the Roman Forum um, but we're gonna chill here for a little bit take some pictures and then go get dinner so I could not get a little video of this but that is Edinburgh with the nice beautiful sunset but there's the castle and the mountains. It's very pretty. Good morning and welcome to Saturday. Um, the lighting's a little bit weird because I'm actually in a castle. Doan Castle, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, it's about an hour away from Edinburgh and it was the home of the Duke of Albany. And um, in more recent years, it's been used for a lot of filming like uh, the movie for Monty Python 
and Outlanders and they said that a new one is coming out on Netflix starring Chris Pine um, so it's like a maze and really old and really cool so I have some videos of some of the rooms here you go So that's the castle from afar. Um, just about to head to the bathroom and then we're hopping back on the bus for another hour ride to another cute little town in the Highlands. So we're at Glen Close. It's freezing. <laughs> More because of the wind. But it's beautiful. After this we're headed to our little hotel room and then tomorrow we have a couple more stops and then we head back to Edinburgh to then head back to London. There's Vanessa. Good morning. <laughs> um, so it's Sunday and we're at a famous battlefield called the Battle of Culloden, I think that's how you say it. Um, fought in the mid 1700s but it's just an open field. Um, it was a major turning stone for the many battles versus Catholics and Protestants, um, Jacobites versus the government fighting for the rulers and which ones they wanted on the throne. But it's a really nice day. Um, you can kind of see the mountains in the, in the distance, but we have, I think, two stops today on our way back to Edinburgh and then we're headed home to London but Sunday is a very nice day okay so I'm gonna try and talk a little loud um, ooh, bug um, but as you can see I'm kind of like in a forest and uh, in front of me is a creek I forgot where he said this was I gotta tell you I feel like I've stepped back home into the Adirondacks it's, it's like legit the same thing and it's gorgeous and it's been six months since I've been in anything like this and I tell you right now I miss it <laughs> living in a city is amazing but I wish there was something close like this to me so I'm gonna enjoy it and take some photos and some videos and then we're headed back to Edinburgh Walking away from the waterfall, I gotta head back to the coach because um, we gotta get going. And I don't think I'm gonna film anymore in Edinburgh. I mean, we'll probably grab a bite to eat and then hop on the train. So I'll end it in something that looks fairly like home. And Scotland was amazing. And I definitely come back here, especially the Highlands, for some little nature outing. But yeah, Scotland, big thumbs up. And I do wanna come back. So, till next time, say bye!